morning, gentlemen. Good morning. I understand y'all have a little situation on your hands. Just a little bit. Hi, I'm Rick. How are you? Todd Tilly. Nice to meet you. Paul Horn. Hi, nice to meet you, gentlemen. Had a guy here working on the plane this morning. He said, I started to go in the bathroom. He said, you got a pit bull in there or something? Oh, wow. And so he shut the door, and I got here and threw it open, and lightly peeked in there and I see this black fur with a white stripe Ooh, and really? I'm like mm. Ooh, Pepe yeah. Le Pew. <laughs> oh, man yeah sometimes they're misidentifies I yeah. wasn't positive but you got a pretty good look at it what are you gonna use to catch it with my hands it's all I need oh my oh, dude it's crazy <laughs> It stinks in here. Well, I've assessed the situation. I was right about one thing. It's definitely a smell bomb went off in there. The thing just took a crap. God. All right, guys, I think it's the moment of truth. So let's see what happens. I get to grab this thing. This ain't gonna go very well. This ain't gonna go well at all. I'd never try to trap a skunk with my bare hands. I'd never try to trap a skunk at all. <laughs> oh, man. I think he's going to get sprayed. Probably will. Boy, he's showing me some aggression. He's showing that aggression. That's a sure sign he's about to get you. It's gonna spray if I grab it. I'm gonna need a cage. <laughs> All right, guys. I think I was off the wrong track grabbing that thing by my hands. He's really being aggressive. I gotta get a cage. <laughs> Man, this guy was aggressive. If I went left, he went right. If I went right, he went left. This guy just kept trying to turn around and show me his butt, man. It's like an alligator death roll, man. I knew it was time to pack off. I gotta get this cage set. I can get this thing caught. I'm spraying. All right, here we go. This is it right here. Your head. It's about to get in there. Come on, get behind that commode, buddy. Sweet. Uh, no, I don't want none of that. <laughs> I'm staying over here. All right, got him in the cage. Oh, he's so close to spraying me. Damn it, don't you do it. Oh, he's trying to adjust his butt right at me so he can spray me. I ain't gonna have it. Oh, I'm in trouble. Damn it. Oh, I can't stay away from him. He's gonna get me. Oh, God, man, he's all over me. I can't get away from him. What's he doing? <laughs> he's trying to get his butt turned toward me. It's like pointing the front of a gun at you. So he's trying to get the barrel of his right at me so he can spray me. Oh, yeah. So, guys, that's your villain right here. What are you going to do with it? Well, I'm going to take him to a place that we have private property and let him go out there. There should be a lot of room for him to run around. But uh, see how he's trying to get his butt toward me? Yeah. Damn it, don't you do it. Get away from his Ah, he's constantly dancing with me here, trying to spray my <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> ah, I win. Oh, man, guys, I got lucky on that one. He didn't get you? <laughs> no, he sure gave me a dance. Y'all saw how I yeah. keep spinning around. What he's doing is trying to get his tail up at me. Because that's kind of like looking at a loaded gun, you know? He's yeah. going to shoot me, you know? So I was trying to you know, keep away from that tail, yeah. stay with his eyes. That's a little trick whenever you're dealing with a skunk. You keep in front of him, he won't spray you. But if he turns around on you, you're in trouble. We <laughs> so, appreciate it. Sure appreciate it, gentlemen. You, you have a great day. Thanks, you, you too. too. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Racetrack called. We got a lot of animals last night. Good news. Race day's around the corner. I got to get them out of there quick. 
Rushed over here and uh, found a, quite a few surprises and one that wasn't. Hey, Billy. How's it going? We got your armadillo just like you thought. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, how'd the other traps fare? Did we catch any down there? We've got two skunks. Skunks? That's going to be difficult to, uh, to remove. All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this armadillo out of here, and then I'm going to check the other traps down there and get them skunks out of there for you, OK? All right, man. Oh, there we go. Look at you, man. A nine-banded armadillo. Race car doing 190 miles an hour hits this dude right here. Big freaking problems, man. Golly, freaking windy, man. Oh, you all right there, buddy? How's it going, man? I bet you went out of this cage, don't you? I got to get out on the front of this thing and try to detach these wires so I can get this trap out of here. OK, I got it. I got this one. So here I am, dressed like a pirate, crawling out on a plank with a skunk bomb underneath, trying to detach some fencing off of my cage so I can get my super upset wet skunk out of the drainage ditch up to high ground without getting sprayed. Hang in there, buddy. Don't get freaking stupid. Come on. Oh, there we go. No. No, no, no. Whoa, no, 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 no. Don't raise that tail, dude. Chill. Chill. It's all good. I'm getting you out. I don't want you in the water either, brother. Right, dude, come on, man. Don't spray the kid here. Don't spray the kid. Try to clear that blast site, man. Oh, shit. fire ants. Look at these things, man. Fire ants all over me. I freaking lay down to try to get out of the way of the blast of the skunk, and now they're stinging the shit out of me. All right, dude. He's gonna blast me. Swing that ass around this way. Yeah, aim the ass that way, brother. Dude, look, I gotta get you out. Ooh, he's on the blast site there. <laughs> All right, man, chill out. I got your buddy over there and an armadillo friend you've been hanging with. We can see it in your way not to blast me. We'll be okay. Whoa, whoa. All right, I gotta try to maneuver around his butt here. It's all good, here we go. Yeah, we're buddies, right? Yeah, we're buddies. You and I are friends. Friends, can you say friends? All right, man, it's all good, see? Woo, you want some of this? You be good, you be I am taking to your buddies, man. Taking to your friends. Sarmandil is a cool dude, man. I've been rapping with him. He's not oh okay. Say hi to the armadillo and your skunk buddy over there. So I get the animals uh, loaded up. It was time to get them out of there and relocated. Hang in there, buddy. Oh, yeah, there we go. Get your buddy right here. I get the animals out to the relocation site. And, you know, I like to have fun in life, so it was time to race. OK, since you three are racing, I got to come up with some names for you three, OK? Speedy on the outside here, you're going to be Zach. You're going to be Dillo in the middle and Travis on the outside. All right, I got my money on, uh, let's see. Zach, you are intense. A lot of attitude with you, man. A lot of spunk. I think you're gonna win this race. You're gonna get out of here away from me as fast as you freaking can. All right, here we go. Get this first door open. Get this second door open. Get that armadillo guy. All right, here we go. Pipe going in. Across the front. There we go. Now I'm gonna run around. Get old Speedy here. Oh, ain't hanging there, Zach. We almost done. Gentlemen, start your engines. Here comes the tree. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Out of here. All right, guys, go ahead. Who's off first? Zach's coming out of the gate first. Boom, Zach's gone, man. Oh, second one's coming out of here. Wait a minute, we might have a race, actually. We might have a race. Ooh. Dude, you got to come out of the trap. What's up with you, man? You don't get racing at all, do you? Okay, brother, you gotta get going here. I ain't got all day. Oh, 
in there. Grab your tail. Ah, come on, boy. Lego. Lego. Sideways on him. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. Come on. Woo! Almost got you here. Keeps grabbing the uh, cage as I go along here. Ooh, almost lost my grip. Ah, uh, come on, man. Ah, uh, there we go. Whew. All right, buddy. You're off. Whew. Finally, the armadillo's released. Take care, dude. Out here, he's not gonna be a tire mark. Here's the shed where most of the skunk activity's taking place. It looks like the dog's been digging right over here, which is definitely an indication the skunks are living up under the shed there. So I'm gonna have to set some traps around here. Looks like they're digging in through here. Of course, when they get back here, they encounter the Hughes family, their daughter, and worst of all, the dog who's been sprayed three times. Not only does the spray smell horrible, but it can also cause temporary blindness, which is something the Hughes can't afford. So it's time to trap these guys and get them out of here. It's just bad. The Hughes need their backyard back, and the only way that's gonna happen is through me. Okay, right now I'm at the back door of the skunk's new crib. This is where they're going in and out. This is where the dog's been encountering the skunk. So I'm gonna set my trap right here. Skunks settle around humans so they can have easy access to food. Now I'm gonna turn that instinct against them and use human food to lure them into my traps. All right, now it's time to add the jelly. A lot of times when you're trying to get a skunk, you got a domestic animal around like a cat or a dog. So I uh, hit the books one day trying to figure out if there was some type of bait where I could lure skunks in and keep cats and dogs out. The answer was grape jelly, and it works fantastic. Been using it for years. All right, next time I come out here, I'm not gonna find a skunk under the shed. I'm gonna find him in their new crib, my trap. At this point, it's time to inform the family of what I've done and what to expect. Oh, hey, how you doing? So I went ahead and set two traps back there, and if we catch this guy, just leave him alone. You don't want to get anywhere near him. No problem, we'll take care of that. Okay, guys? Thanks for the help, Billy. Hey, thanks a lot. Y'all take, take care. care. You too. Bye. Okay, I gotta head into the backyard, get the trap, and try not to get sprayed. Oh, the trap doors are down. What do we got? I used a smaller cage to catch this skunk, so it should be a lot harder for him to spray me, but that's no guarantee. I still have to be very careful as I approach the trap. Caught you, didn't we? Yeah, stirring up the family, messing with the dogs. Sprayed the dogs three times, did you? You ain't gonna spray me, are you? As soon as I got up to the skunk, he started stomping his feet, raising his tail. These are warning signs that he's about to spray. I thought I was looking at a tomato bath for weeks. Luckily, he backed off. Nice and safe. Today, I didn't have a tarp to put over the cage to deflect any spraying from the skunk. So what I had to do, I had these solid doors on each end of the trap. So I just kind of turned the solid door toward me. That way, if the skunk sprayed, at least he hit the door and not myself. My carry over to the truck worked out for me. No mistakes, so I didn't pay no prices. Hey guys. What's going on? Did y'all get one? We did. I got him out of there. Do y'all want to check him out? Sure. Brittany, you sure you don't want to get closer? No. You're a little far back. You can get a little closer. This is close enough. No. They walked outside. Lewis was looking at him pretty cool, but Brittany, she didn't want no part of it. She wouldn't come in within 20 feet of this thing. I saw as much of that skunk as I wanted to see, so get it out of here, Billy. Well, anyway, I'm gonna take him off somewhere else, release him into a property where there's just a uh, 1,000 acres of wildlife, so he won't be terrorizing you anymore. All right, Stinky. Put you away. Thanks, Billy. Thanks, Vexcon. We appreciate everything. Bye. I'm finally able to grab the gator, and instantly he starts freaking out. He is not happy about being drug out of this water and wants to fight me every step of the way. Oh, he's heavy. 